Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. How you're doing? Where you're watching us from? Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Switch TV KE on Instagram. Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Right now, we're looking at your space. How do your interiors look like? How do you decorate the spaces that you get into? Do you like how it looks like? If not, this conversation is for you. It's time for Business Circle. We have a lady who introduces herself as the interior therapist. Ash, welcome <laughs> to the show. Thank you for having me. Love it to be on the show, Mukali. Karibu sana. Yes. Interior therapist. Yes, yes. Wow. Why so? Because um, I basically have a look at spaces, I evaluate them, and then I diagnose, and I offer solu I, I diagnose a problem and I offer solutions. Yes. To a space. Yes. yes. And you know, a space is, it's my space. So yeah. if it looks like this, then I'll constantly be like this. And if it vibrates good vibrations to me, then I'll be looking at it feeling so good about myself. Well, see, people reach out to me when they feel there's something not right. Okay. That's why I'm, I've got the term material therapist. And I'm doing it more online these days because obviously with COVID, it's difficult to visit people. Yeah. So I actually offer an online service where you can just, we do it by Zoom. Okay. You know, somebody holds up their phone and they show me their room and say, it's not working. What can I do? What are the problems? And when you're in the space yourself, you may not realize why, why it's not working. Mm. You have a sense that something's not right. Yes. So it helps have somebody who's impartial to say, actually, because if it's a friend or a family member, they've always got a, their, their own agenda. You know mm. what I mean? So mm. that's why I come in. Yes. yes. How would you describe your style? I'd, I'd describe my style as um, Afro-modern eclectic. Oh, yeah, yes. okay. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, see that. Yes, yes. And when you look at your personal space, yes. is that what your personal space says about who you are? Is it important for who I am as a person for it to be reflective of the spaces that I'm in? That's what that's my mantra. It's about personalizing your space. Okay. It's got to reflect who you are. And I think the problem that now is a lot of us are getting a lot of our inspiration online from Instagram, Pinterest, and we just you know you scroll and you think, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. You may like it, but it doesn't really re reflect who you are as a person. Mm. So when I walk into my apartment, I just feel that this is me, and it makes me feel so happy, you know. Yeah. And I want that for everyone that I work with. Okay. So and you can only get that when your space says something about who you are, your heritage, what you do for a living, what you're passionate about, where you live. All these things have to come in and say something. So where space. do we start? Say, for yeah. example, we've yeah. called you and I'm like, I yes. need help. I don't know what the problem is. And yes. that is where most of, of the people yes. start from. Yes. I don't know what the problem is. I don't yeah. know how to fix it. So you come in. Where yeah. do we begin this journey with you? I think the first question I'd ask is, what is your style? What's your st what do you, in terms of, you, you need to know, you need to nail down your interior style. Everything starts from there. Are you drawn more to sort of rustic interiors, classic, you know, traditional, modern, minimalist, are you a maximalist? You know, it's, it's very important to interrogate this. Okay. You know, you need to know who you are in terms of your interiors, your okay. interior personality. Because okay. that informs everything you do. Because mm. you, then you also, it stops you from making mistakes when you're shopping. Like I know I'm not into like florals and sort of very, very sort of traditional kind of, furniture, you know, styles. So I, I know what was going to work for me. Mm. I don't like sort of dots and very sort of minimalist. I see you know your what I mean? Face. Scanned. I see no, your sorry. face. When you, <laughs> you get when you're talking about florals, you're just yeah, like yeah. florals. Yeah, you, you know, you know, you, you know, that sort of chintzy sort of um, very sort of twee sort of cute look. And I don't like minimalism. I don't like sort of beige neutral interiors. No. So I already know if I, if I see something, I thought it's not going to work because mm. I've nailed down my style. And that's what I work with, uh, with people to get them to a place where they say, ah, this is what I like. It's a process. It is I, a process. I, I can't just wake up and say, oh, this is my style. No. You have to work on it, you know? Okay. Yes. So it's the, the, there's a lot of things you draw on, you know, I, I sort of give them um, sort, of, sort of templates and they say, what do you like? Do you like this one? What don't you like about this one? What do you like about this one? And that helps them to go to a place where they're comfortable. It's yes. a proper exercise. It's an exercise. 
because you can get distracted by what you see because mm. it's trending. Mm. Mm. And obviously what we see on social media is, is, is what's trending a lot yes. of the time. So you get distracted. You think, oh, I should like that because... It's trending now. It's trending. I think, and what are these seats called? Yes. They're in everybody's house now. Mm. Uh, I've forgotten. The ones with the buttons everywhere. Oh, yes, yes. So, yes. so Chesterfield. Chesterfield. Yes, yes. So there was a yes. whole fight about that, I think, yeah. last year, last yes. year, but one. Yes. So everybody's yeah. into it because yes. you don't know if you like it personally or is it yeah. because everybody because has it. Because you've seen it in somebody in influencer's house or somebody, you know, you think, oh, I should like that because mm -hmm. I like so-and-so and they like it. Mm. So that's what happens, you see. So you're going to sort of, it's also about stepping into your confidence in terms of interior and saying, no, I like this. Okay. And this reflects who I am, so I'm going to, you know introduce into my space it's also okay. a confidence building exercise okay yes and looking yes. at the maybe the fundamentals yeah. of maybe yeah. interior decor and yes. some things that go along with others yeah say for example shapes and colors you'll find that this colors yeah. probably will not go with this colors or maybe this shapes yeah. of your house yeah. or your seats yes. will probably not work with yeah. a wall unit or maybe a tv stand that looks yeah. like this or maybe mixing wood uh, you know the, yeah. the 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 what is it called the back kind of textures yes, yes. and maybe a modern is it something that you also help people with yes obviously because i think mm. i try to simplify the process because you can okay. get overwhelmed there's so much information there's so much you know so i know it's also contradictory mm. so if you know and all this it doesn't have to be one style like mm. i mix old and new that's one of my my mantras it's very important to have old pieces in your space as well not just new okay. and i think especially living in nairobi now there's so many furniture shops now there's mm. lots of places you can get you know furniture which is great yes. but then you think oh no i'm gonna buy everything new i'm moving i've got ah. a new space i want everything to look new okay and and you want to avoid that it's very important to avoid that because otherwise your home looks like a show house <laughs> it looks like a shop you know <laughs> you I get see, my you get I my see. meaning yes. yeah like you yes. pick it out right yes. from yes. the showroom yes and put it in your yeah. house and I've got people say, oh, I'm moving into a new apartment. I want everything new. I don't want anything old. And, then, and that's the mistake, you know, we can make. So you can, the best thing you can try and do is to raid your, even your granny's house or your, your things from your parents and bring things like old, what they call brown furniture. Mm. You, know the, you know those mm. things mm. we didn't like? Yes. <laughs> just like, what is yeah, that? Yeah, yes. But if you mix them mm -hmm. with your new pieces, it just makes your space look like it's evolved over time. And that's what makes an interior so exciting. When it looks like, oh, I got this from here. I inherited this. Ah. I found this. Sort of like yes. talks. It's a journey. It's a journey. Of life That's, in your house you as well. You put it so well. It's a journey. So it's always, we're always on this journey. It's yes. never done. So, uh, so for me, one of the important things is to actually try and bring in, you know, all the pieces This is so well. interesting. Yes. Very interesting because... I'd be yes. fascinated when yes. I walk into a modern yes. house yes. and I see the, what is it yes. called? The ones that play the music, the old ones. What the are, gramophones. Gramophones. Yeah. Yes. It will yes. stand out for me. Yes. It will call to me. Yeah. It is mm. so old. Probably even yeah. our parents or grandparents yes. didn't think it was anything. But having it in that space is beautiful. Make, it just personalizes it. And it's also like a talking point. Mm. People will ask, yes. oh, wow, where did you get that? Or yeah. how did you find it? Oh, I found it when I traveled. Oh, my auntie gave it to me. There's always a story. You want your home to have a story. Mm. And, it and it should be your story. Okay. You know? So that's why I'm, I'm very passionate about bringing old and new yeah, together and mixing, mixing so what other things should we yeah. look out for when we are doing yeah. or redecorating our house i totally yeah. love that one yeah and then the color palette your okay. home should have a color palette you should there should be a selection of colors that run through every space in your home so it's not just about oh i want blue here and i want red in there and i want pink and i'm going to because otherwise it's like you're walking into a room and everything oh 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 look <laughs> It's a bit jarring, if you get my meaning. So before you start <laughs> anything, uh -huh. you have to decide on your color palette. Okay. Like mine is very, it's, it's orange, red, turquoise, pink, bits of, a bit of yellow. Oh, it's quite, I, you it's know, beautiful. and you see them in different amounts in different rooms. It's not like, it's not like, oh, red here, red here. It's all. Oh, because play. I remember there was a time back, back in the day. Yes. Um, you'd yeah. find one room is yeah. red. Then yes. you walk into another yeah. one and it is green no you see you you, you really want to avoid i that. want my bedroom yeah. red yeah you know and then you see, and then you're like okay and then and then everything <laughs> yes. is red yes carpet red cutting red beddings mm. red yeah so just the bed wasn't available in red 
you see the problem it's very it's actually very colors are quite difficult to get right and i love color i yes. just oh I can't, you know you're so passionate about color uh -huh. but you have to sort of approach it almost and say okay these are the colors i'm gonna you know use and then choose you know, uh, some people say use, uh, which I don't like, they use uh, 60, 30, 10 percent. What is that? Like 60 percent is the, the, the main color. OK. It could be white and then you can say 30 percent is going to be um, sort of burnt orange mm -hmm. and then 10 percent is going to be turquoise. OK. I, guess, I mean, if you're really, really stuck, you could do that. But you can end up looking a bit like a formula. You, you don't ah. want your house to look like a formula. OK. What I would say is maybe pick three main colors and then two subsidiary colors mm -hmm. so if you're using bright colors like if you're mm -hmm. using orange okay don't just use one shade of orange like the carpet use that shade and then also use this the runway i'm wearing mm. a rust so you see where you're mixing the, the the sort of more vibrant and the more subdued okay so whatever whatever color you're using look at the whole range the whole tonal range you know even so it's just orange it's not just one shade of orange yes look use all the different shades of orange you okay see? okay and you also have to mix warm colors warmer shades with cooler, like warm colors are red, orange, um, sort of gold, mm. those kind of colors, yeah. yellow. Yes. And then wood is warm as well. Mm -hmm. and the cooler are like gray, white, blue, beige. green. Beige is more warm. Is warm? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. So, and, t and what I've noticed, in, in, especially in Kenya, we tend to use too much, too many warm colors. Mm. So you go to, you go to somebody's house, they've got a wooden floor. Yes. Then they've got a beige, sort of soft white walls mm -hmm. then they've got orange they've got brown beige you get my meaning a bit yes. of red yes. it's too warm and we live in a warm climate okay so we need to cool it down so if you put a bit of a bit of uh, white a bit of gray silver pops of green mm. it just so you're balancing the color tones okay you know I, yes. I see. I see what you mean with that. Yes, yes. Because it could be yes. a bit much. Because what it does, it just brings the energy down. If it's too warm, <laughs> you feel like, oh, you get my meaning, yes? Because it's warm, you kind of pulls you, you can warm with sunshine. Yes. You know? So, and then sort of cool is more like a sort of ice. Mm. Yeah. So you need to both. You need both in the home. And this needs yes. to be seen throughout yes. the house. Yes. So yes. you can have the same burnt orange that you had in the living room. Yeah. yeah and have maybe throw pillows or maybe a curtain of yes. the scene being seen in another yes. room yes so you, you can have a, like a burnt orange sofa mm -hmm. in one in the living room yes. then the bedroom you can just use the, the throw pillows or the cushions mm. you, you, you don't have to have a now the bed has to be you know you can <laughs> so you're using in different variations but you're trying to use both the warm and the cooler tones okay so you, when you pick a color palette try and pick you know from the warm side and also the cooler side mm. so that way you're balancing it I mean, it just makes your interior more energetic and more sort of interesting I love it. yes I love it. thank yes. you so much we have some pictures can yeah. we can we see some of uh, ash's work yeah. oh look at that you see you see what i'm talking about when yes. i mean about w mixing warm and that painting yes. is beautiful yes. you can just see it from yes. the back there so retro and that no that actually brings me to my next point yes C include art uh -huh. We don't include enough art in our interiors, I, mm -hmm. I don't think. Mm -hmm. And then living in Kenya, we have a lot of affordable art. People say, oh, so it's, it's too expensive. Yeah. But I've been to the Maasai market and picked up really nice boutiques and framed them and hanging in my space. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to approach students, up and coming artists. Yes. You know, there's a lot of, you know. And they need yes, the money. They need the money. They so do. why not support our own? Yes. As opposed to just buying these sort of generic imported prints. You know, the ones mm, you get in furniture shops. Yes, yes. You know, why are we doing that? When we've got people who are really talented and we should support our own, you know, that is so talent. True. So we so, need to include yes. more art pieces in Especially our original art. Original art pieces. Because I won't have what you have because mm. it's original. Mm. So what the piece you have, you, no one else is going to have it. Uh, that's something about who you are because you've chosen that piece and there's a reason you chose it yeah so that's how you're personalizing your space with with art okay. but I, I do mix um original and prints i have a i've even framed wrapping paper to tell you the truth <laughs> <laughs> no seriously i went into somebody's yes. house yes, and i yes. found that they collect notes from different parts of the world yes. almost yeah. the notes that are not being used in those yes. places yes. very rare yeah. and they've yes. just put them together framed them and put them up why not why it not? is beautiful yeah. and out of the world yeah. like yeah. you wouldn't think notes yeah. we had the currency that uh, we're not using anymore they're a thousand bob yeah. notes and those notes can be used 
You can just put them up. You'll be telling your children, grandchildren yes. that once upon a time. And what I would do with that, yes. which is I would, I would sort of um, style them in a, as a collection. Because mm -hmm. you want to avoid sort of things scattered all around. Yes. So when you approach a, st a room, you, you're trying to style it as a, okay, that area, yes. that space, yes. the coffee table, uh -huh. the console table, the corner. You're styling in group and you're grouping objects so, so if you collect things it's nice to group them because mm -hmm. it makes it a bit more you know interesting yeah yeah as opposed to just like oh, i'm gonna put it there i'm gonna put that there i'm gonna put that scattering mm -hmm. it around so we yes. have a corner of yes yes certain group of yes. things yeah okay and, then, and they're all sort of working together as a whole even though they're individual pieces yeah. they all work together as a whole okay yeah do we have another picture is there another oh there we go yes. that's a plant yes. Because that's very important, plants. I, I really do believe it's, we need to have more living things in our space. Okay. They stop them from looking sterile, you know, just, and it makes it, just make, makes the space look beautiful. Yes. And also proven health benefits mm. to having plants. Because mm -hmm. they remove toxins from the, the air, you know, and they also bring in oxygen. They actually relieve stress, you know, they really relieve stress. They help you be more productive and creative. And then also when you're looking after them, it's quite therapeutic yes, because you're it is. watering them. And, and seeing them just blossom you know, yes, and become beautiful. Yes, is, yeah. Yeah. And that's the one thing I don't have in the house. I think I will sh and I That's an easy win. I'm, yes. I'm a terrible plant mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, just like, I want to be away for a whole week. What will happen to that plant? But then yeah. there are plants that do not need yeah. a lot of care like that. Or you get a big basin, put a bit of water in them and try and just put them in so that it's... They ah. absorb all the water from underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Or you have a bath. You could put them in the bath and just <laughs> a little bit of water. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm not the best with plants, so I get the, no hardy ones, you yeah. know, like the succulents and the yes. cacti. The ones yes. that don't, that they don't need a lot of love and yes. attention. Yeah, yes. I don't know what that seems yes. about us, yeah, but yeah. you know. Do you have another picture before we yeah. go on a break? Look yeah. at that. Yes, you see, that's a nice, that's a very clear, I love light. Yeah. And I think if you can prioritize, if you can... I think light should be one of the most important things you look for if you're moving into a space. Yes. I would go, I'd even pay a little bit more money to get the apartment that has a bit more light. Because it's so hard to work with a space that doesn't get a lot of light. Mm. You have mm. to do a lot more. Once you have light, you're already halfway there. And you paint your walls white, because I love white, you know. It just looks modern and clean. It does. You see what I'm, you know, you know what does. I'm saying? It does. Yeah. And then you, you don't have to do, you don't have to work as, as, as hard. As hard. Yes, when you don't have enough light. Yes, when you don't have enough light, and you paint the walls soft white. <laughs> it, you know, you you have to work harder and harder to make it look. You know, as you can see, I've got to think about. <laughs> Do you have another picture? <laughs> Do you have another picture? Let's, yes. Oh, okay. Please tell yes, us that's, about this. And I think inspiration, inspiration mood boards. I really do believe in them because you know, beginning of the year we talk about vision boards. Yes. So I have one in my um, in my studio. Cause, and that really helps, you know, okay. and I also, it's it got a nice to look at, mm -hmm. also a nice talking point, interesting to look at, and I do help you in terms of motivation and getting to where you want to be in terms of your goals. Okay, Cause so a vision yes. board, a place where you can easily yes. see yes, and yeah. draw inspiration yes. from that as yes. well. I think that's beautiful. Yeah. Because then also, and, the, and I'm, I had my made locally by Fundi. It's mm -hmm. not like it's, it's just a sheet of Mabati that's framed mm -hmm. and it's, it's hanging on my wall. And... It really, I look at it all the time. And before you know it, you actually say, ah, that's what I was thinking. You may, yes. you may not even know what you like because you, you, it's, it's an exercise that you undergo in terms of cutting things out from magazines or downloading from Pinterest. And then you're just putting them together. And then you start, it's, it starts working, you, you know, into something that you... You wanted or you, yes. you envisioned for yes. yourself. Yes. When you talked about cutting yeah. things yeah. up, yeah. I just saw one somewhere where they, where they collected yeah. old yeah. CDs. Yes. And you see the shiny bit yeah. of it, then they just cut it. And it was a family exercise. Yeah. They just cut it yeah. and the kids are helping to just yeah. cut it into little pieces yeah. and then put them on a piece of wood and just frame them. And it looks yes. absolutely you stunning. Know, yes. You spent yes. time with family doing it. The kids enjoyed doing it. Wonderful. And you're not all sitting there watching TV or on your devices. No. It's something you can do, you know, collectively. Yes. And it's just, it's so enriching when you can. Oh, yeah. I have been yes. empowered yeah. to rethink yeah. my interiors. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just looking yeah. at them in my head yeah. thinking, yeah. wow, Mikali, yeah. you could do better. 
Yeah. You could do better. And it, it works for you as well when you're in a space that you love. And you yes. enjoy being in it. Because if, you, if you're not comfortable at home, where will you be comfortable? Your, comfort, your comfort, your sense of well-being starts from your home. Absolutely. Can you imagine waking up stressed you're already and you think I have to go to, go to work, I didn't sleep well because I don't like my bedroom, no, 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 it's untidy. It's so, so everything starts from home. So when, when that works for you, everything will work as well. Absolutely. Yes. How can people get in touch with you? On yes. what social media platform? Yes. Give us a number. We need help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm active on, on Instagram. Yes. At an African Eye. That's mm -hmm. my handle. I'm also, I've got a YouTube channel. An African Eye as well. Yes. Okay. So I've got quite, in, you know, a lot of inspirational, instructional videos. And I'm also producing more content. content. I'm reframing my content because a lot of people are asking me for different things. Mm -hmm. So I want to serve people better. So oh. I'm working very hard on that. Thank you yes. so yeah. much. Even for yes. coming through today. No, it's been wonderful to be on. Yeah, really interesting conversation. Thank you. Mikali. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. And uh, we're going to take a very short commercial break. If you love a yeah. good love story, well, do not go too far because we'll be right back with that. <laughs> 